Hello, my name is Josh Bruno. I am the product manager for Finn Corporation. Today, we are going to go over the tank cleaning procedure, daily and weekly maintenance items for your T60 and T75 hydro seeder. Your T60 may be a little different, depending how you have an option. It could have a hose reel, a boom, or neither. But a lot of the maintenance is the same between these two units. So as part of the daily maintenance, every day, you want to come back, fill up your hydro seeder with fresh, clean water, and wash out your boom and your hose reel if equipped. Now that you've filled up your tank half full of water, we'll want to clean out the inside of the tank before we clean out the hose or the boom if equipped. You'll want to start your engine, run it about half idle, move your agitator to the forward direction, run that for a few minutes to create some splashing action to wash off material of the tank, then switch your agitator to the reverse direction to get the other end of the tank and clean it. out the inside of your tank, you have to take care of your hose, your boom, and your recirculation line. So first, we're going to clean out the hose. There you go. Close your boom pipe. Make sure your hose reel line is open. Get your hose. You want to remove the rubber gasket just so you don't spray it out. Remember, when you're done, put it back. Now we'll spray till we get a clean stream of water and this will ensure that there is no mulch built up in your hose. So start off, engage your clutch, increase your throttle speed to build pressure, and get a nice clear stream. Now that you've cleaned out your hose, next is the boom and the recirculation line. First thing you want to do, put your clutch into standby position so you have controls up on the platform. Next, close your ball valve for your hose reel so you don't force material back into the hose. Open the ball valve for your boom, and then we'll go up top and spray clean water. Again, just like the hose, remember, remove your rubber gasket so you don't spray it out when you're cleaning your unit. Remember to put it back in when you're done. Next, get your boom ready so you can spray. Now you'll want to engage the clutch by pushing the foot pedal and slowly increase your throttle to build up pressure and ensure clean water is coming out. The last thing you want to do for your tank cleaning procedure is remove your tank drain plug here and your pump drain plug. This will allow any material that's in those two areas to drain and your tank will be nice and clean for the next time you want to use it. If you're in freezing weather, leave your ball valves open so water doesn't collect and cause your ball valves to crack because they're frozen. If you follow these easy cleaning steps at the end of each day, your hydro seeder will perform better and last longer. Also, be sure to check out the maintenance video for the T60 and T75. And to stay up to date on all fin videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching.